Hello everyone, this video will share how to efficiently import fixed asset master lists using Excel. In this digital age, users can accurately input master data into the SQL, saving valuable time and ensuring precision when managing your company's fixed assets. Are you still struggling to find time to manage your company's fixed assets? Excel Template Preparation to commence with the process of importing the fixed asset master lists, you may need to prepare an Excel template, which can be obtained from the link in description below. Your Excel file is at the heart of this journey, and initially, it's all about asset groups. Inside this template, find the code column, it represents your asset groups. Meanwhile, description is where you can add extra details about each group. Let's discuss the description method. It's always set to 1, indicating the straight-line depreciation method. Lastly, in this asset group template, don't forget to input your assets account codes. Ensure you've created all the necessary account codes in your SQL system before import your assets master data. Now that your asset groups are in order, it's time to set up the asset items template. Similar to asset groups, provide a code and description for each asset. Map to a assets group previously defined asset group code. If your assets have agent or area, you can include them here. The vital asset details include acquire date, cost, useful life, depreciation frequency. Use 1 4 monthly, 2 4 quarterly, 3 4 half yearly, and 4 4 yearly. Lastly, specify the residual value of your assets. After completely maintaining the fixed asset group and fixed asset item in Excel, the next step involves creating a depreciation schedule based on your predefined criteria such as cost, acquire date, useful life, and residual value. Here are two reference scenarios to guide you through this process. Scenario 1 – Yearly Depreciation Based on the data in the fixed asset item, FA item, the yearly depreciation formula calculates as follows. $12,000 divide 10 equals $1,200 per year. Therefore, an annual depreciation of $1,200 is applicable to the fixed asset table. In order to track this depreciation over a span of 10 years, it is essential to generate a depreciation schedule consisting of 10 rows. Scenario 2 – Monthly Depreciation Next to the monthly depreciation, take a scenario with a cost of $95,000 and a residual value of $10,000 after 5 years. In this case, the formula involves subtracting the residual value of $10,000 from the initial cost of $95,000 and then dividing the resulting amount by 5 years multiplied by 12 months. As a result, the monthly depreciation amounts to $1,416.67. To maintain an accurate record of Toyota Vio's depreciation, it's advisable to create a depreciation schedule spanning 60 rows, equivalent to 60 months. Nonetheless, the system allows you to specify how fixed assets are distributed among different projects. In this process, you can input the FA code and then select the project along with the corresponding percentage. SQL Quick Import Excel Tools Now, let's explore SQL Quick Import Excel Tools together. Go to File. Select Import then choose Excel Files. Click on the file icon and choose the Excel file you have thoroughly maintained. Subsequently, ensure that you have ticked fa.group.opf from the left panel. And then click on Verify and Execute to import your fixed asset groups. Once you have successfully imported the asset groups, proceed to select fa.item.opf. You will find the data lists in the right panel, then please verify their accuracy and then click on Verify and Execute. The process will indicate done when the import for asset items, depreciation schedule and project is completed. Fixed Asset Master Lists in SQL After successfully importing your asset master data, let's see how SQL handles it. Once your data is imported, easily access asset groups and items as in your Excel file. Now, let's focus on asset depreciation. Take Asset A1 as an example. It has yearly depreciation for 10 years, a total of 10 schedules in SQL. If you've imported project details, track how project codes affect depreciation, offering valuable insight. That's a wrap on our guidelines. Now, it's your turn to implement them for better results.